This spring, Open launched its latest prototype national park storyline, Virtual Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, a Peruvian national sanctuary and UN World Heritage Site, was built to be an estate of the Inca Emperor Pachacuti. The estate at Machu Picchu had political and religious significance as a seat of power in the empire. Players encounter the culture and ingenuity of the Inca as they search through Machu Picchu to solve puzzles and complete the game. The first time students log in, the game seamlessly assesses their understanding of the targeted mathematical concepts and achievement of selected mathematical standards. All significant interactions are logged into our database for later analysis and ongoing refinements. Players enter Machu Picchu as time travelers who crash land in a rock quarry outside the estate. The Inca Empire is at its cultural and technological height just before the arrival of the conquistadors. Players must find missing pieces of their ships so they can return home. The ship is made of material that disguises itself to blend in with its surroundings. Players are shown how to use controls and tools to keep track of where they are and what they're doing. They can move around, check to see what they've done and what they're working on, look at work they've submitted, access items they've gained, and use maps to navigate. Learning a little bit of Quechua helps players gain entry to Machu Picchu itself. Before players can speak with the Inca game characters that they meet, they first have to figure out the meaning of a few words in Quechua to calibrate their translator. By talking with shepherds tending a flock of llamas, they learn to ask one of the shepherds to move a white llama off the path. This calibrates their translator and clears the way for them to enter Machu Picchu. Oscalo is an Inca boy who is in big trouble. The head builder and the Kipuka Mayak, or Kipu master, both blame him for damage that was actually caused by pieces of the player's ship falling from the sky. Oscalo asks players to help clear his name. This seems like a good way to find the ship pieces, so players talk to the head builder and the Kipuka Mayak to see what they can do. The head builder needs to repair a broken wall, but his building crew is busy in another area. He proudly introduces players to Inca stonemasonry and shows them how walls built with precisely shaped close-fitting stones need no mortar and can resist earthquake damage. Players learn that different rotation and flip states will place a stone into unique configurations. Only one of these will allow a stone to fit into the wall the right way in the right place. Once the wall is complete, the head builder asks the players to answer a question about what they're doing and where they're from. This provides an opportunity for embedded informal assessment and feedback from their teacher who responds to their work as one of the characters. After students have submitted their response, they can work with the Kupukamayak or explore other things until the teacher either accepts the submission or returns it for revision. Once the teacher accepts the report submission, the head builder will give the player a stone as a reward. He thinks it's the stone Oscalo threw to break the wall, but in fact it turns out to be one of the disguised pieces of the player's ship. One found, two more to go. The Kapuka Mayak is the master record keeper for the Machu Picchu estate. The Inca had no written language, so he encodes numerical data and other types of records as knots in strings called kipu. He teaches players that numbers are recorded on the string in groups of knots. Knots at the bottom of the string represent the numbers 1 through 9, the ones place. The group above that represents the tens place, then the hundreds place, and so on. Players do math with kipu to create summary records of contributions from different alyu or clans. This helps players see the base 10 numbering system in a new light and gives them embedded experience using it to solve problems. As a reward for completing the activity, the Kapuka Mayak gives them a jar that he thought Oscalo snuck in to throw off his inventory count. At first, the jar doesn't appear to be a ship piece, but it has three kipu strings attached to it. The player enters the ship's computer password, a series of numbers, into the kipu strings, and the jar reveals itself to be a ship piece. One more to go! The head builder is finishing a wall next to the Sun Temple, but his building crew is still busy at the other end of the estate. When players agree to help him, he sends them back up to the quarry to bring down the rocks he needs. They bring a kipu bundle with them so that they can request the right stones. When they bring down a stone, they try it out to see if they can use the techniques they've learned to fit it into the wall. If they don't have the right stone for the spot they're working on, they can go back to the quarry, read the kipu, and try again. Once the wall is complete, the head builder rewards them with a stone that transforms into their final ship piece. Players return to the quarry where they repair their ship and journey home. 
Before they head off, the game prompts them to complete another assessment of their understanding of the mathematical concepts and their achievement of the targeted standards.